So guys, we've been working on this house for, how long have we been working on this house? For like, at least a month and a half. At least a month, maybe like a month and a half. Welcome to the Midfield Manor, everybody. This is the house that we have been working on for a month and a half, and we're gonna take you through the house right now. So here you see the living room, and we go right into the dining room, bedroom number one. We just walk through the kitchen. This house was a disaster. I can't wait to show you the before and after. Here's the bathroom, yikes. What's going on in there? Bedroom number two, and let's take you through to the kitchen, which needs the most work. Yes, yeah, ceiling work needs to be done. Third bedroom, and we are here. The ceiling that we patched up, um, you should have seen this place. I'll definitely have some before and after footage for you. But the ceiling we patched up leaked through. We just got back down here, leaked through, and now we're going to have to figure out where the leak is from, rip the ceiling out, put up some new boards for the ceiling, insulation, all of that stuff. So that kind of extended our expected work time down here so staying hydrated is so important and if you're somebody like me who does not drink you know enough water like i try to drink at least four to five of these a day um or three of the 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 big the yeah, big three, alkaline uh, ones three these, of these size. And you can see i didn't even finish mine from yesterday she finished hers this is 33 ounces anyway can we can we can we so we have a challenge you know to try and drink especially down here in the alabama heat to drink at least six of these a day babe close the windows and, and turn up the fan the ac damn um all right so she makes it into a challenge i'm not just, racing just her just to get it down just to get it down just to get it down are you ready on three on three one two I'm waiting for you, baby. Girl, I'm done. Who's I've done? been done. What are you talking about? Who's done? Girl, bye. Get, get. Whatever. Get Whatever. Done. Whatever. Do you have the stuff for the roof and the ceiling? Well, yeah, I have the stuff for the ceiling, but we need. You need wood to put back up, insulation to oh, put back wood in there. for the. Um, we need wood for the bathroom. Yeah. Anything else you can bring up? Mm -hmm. Hopefully we get some good deals on some toilets. It's 4th of July weekend. <laughs> Even though I'm not celebrating that shit, I will, you know. Capitalize on the sales. Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, let's just get these things. Let's just get this list. Okay. When are we going to pick up the deed for the other property? Monday. So Monday we got running around today. A shit time. I thought I would really like to get some work done here today. Okay. Because, but I feel like we have other stuff to do. All right, can we be done recording right now? So we can get to our other list. You always want to go in with a plan. Um, know exactly what you're going into Lowe's for. Um, so you only get what you need. So we finally have power and I am amped because when we were working, we were working mostly with the sunlight. And even though we had a generator, you know, we can't keep the generator in the house while we work because the fumes are poisonous. So we'd have to haul it outside and that provided one outlet. But now we have power. So we'll be working a lot later, getting more things done. I'm excited. Okay, guys, so I have the door set up outside. I have them all lined up, and I'm using a hand sander um, to sand them off. Just give them a nice little wipe off with a piece of cloth, and then plug in my hand sander, and I just make sure that I clean the doors off, any kind of muck, anything that's on the door. Just give it a nice, smooth finish before we add the polyurethane to it. Awesome, people. I just got to make um... I'm not sure. I think he's like trying to cut out the bathroom floor maybe. And the sanders are here. We have the edge sander and over here we have what is called a drum sander. And today it is all hands on deck. Everybody's working on these floors trying to get them nice and cleaned up. Art is using the edge sander. Sakia is using what we call a drum sander. And I'm going to show you guys how to use that in the next clip. 
So right here I'm using a drum sander and this is something that you can rent from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, and for our floors, which were really, really dirty, uh, we started with a 40 to 80 uh, grit sandpaper on the bottom of the drum and then um, the second time over we went to a 80 to 120 um, grit sandpaper and then for the last go over before we put on the polyurethane we went to uh, 150 grit sandpaper that's nice and fine so we can smooth it off before we put the polyurethane on now here I'm moving nice and slow because I really want to get the most use out of the sandpaper um, and in the next clip I'm going to show you some things that happens with the sandpaper um, if your equipment isn't calibrated properly I um, mean if it's off balance then you know you'd be wasting a lot of time and a lot of money but I like to take my time work nice and easy so that I can just uh, optimize the use of my time so one of the biggest issues we're having is that the sandpaper as you can see is not like even well it's not even just this the sandpaper some parts of the floor isn't even but like this machine in particular the sandpaper isn't hitting the ground evenly, so it's we're using just one side, so it's making the job a lot harder than it needs to be. So you want to make sure that if you do get a drum sander, um, you want to try your best, especially if you're renting it, you don't own it, you want to try your best to make sure that this, this wheel here is as even as possible so you can, well, save yourself time, save yourself money. <laughs> So this is what um, the floors looked like when we just started out. Now, like I explained before, um, we're using a drum sander that we rented from Home Depot. Um, and you wanted to make sure like every time the sandpaper goes over it, you're really going to use a lot of sandpaper. So you want to make sure that you clean the floors first because any type of debris, any type of dirt that's on the floor, believe it or not, we clean these floors. Um, but any type of debris or muck that's on the floor, that's just going to um, get all caught up in your sandpaper and you're going to end up using more sandpaper the dirtier the floors are. But um, like I said previously, we started with a 40 grit sandpaper because we really want wanted to be aggressive with getting off that first layer off the floors and then we went to after we did the that first pass over of the entire floor then we went to an 80 grit sandpaper um, and that kind of helped remove another layer we want these floors to be as clean as possible before we finish them up and then we smoothed them off with a 150 grit sandpaper And I don't want it to go that way. You want it to, you want to go where you want it to go. You got to take the back part up. And bye. Fuck, that's just Papa. Uh, oh my gosh. I forgot I didn't do something right till next Stop recording, stop fucking recording, please. Oh my god. We're gonna be staying in the floor today. Oh, it's polyurethane in the floor today, so we're looking for some of that. Uh, so this should be fun today. First time doing this so hopefully it goes well. I think it's gonna go well though. <laughs> 